Hello, hello, hello. I am back playing another game from Itch.io, and this one is Raft. Now, normally when I browse through these indie games, I like to just go to the newest releases, which means that sometimes some of them are questionable um, because really nobody else has played them yet. But this one is actually one that's been out for a little bit, and a lot of people have played it. It's been really well reviewed. And I really like this game. I like how simplistic it is at the start. So I'm going to jump into the game that I already created and I've already been working on for a while just so that we can talk about some of the things that I really like about this game so far and also what I want to see in the game in the future. Oh, I'm, I'm just hanging off the edge there. Okay, so I already started building some things. Um, you know, going over the basics of the game for anybody who has not seen it, but at this point I'm pretty sure everybody has either seen it or at least heard of it, uh, you basically start off with a 4x4 four four raft, and what you have to do is collect debris and different materials so that you can build up your raft, build a sort of um, supplies like this cooking station and this uh, station for purifying water, which maybe I should go ahead and do that. And then you also have this shark that is ever present who wants to nibble at your raft. And, you know, if you allow him to do so, he will take chunks out of it. Uh, so if he nibbled on this, he would take both the piece of the raft and this with it. Uh, so it's a pretty, pretty simple uh, game. You know, when you first start off, not a lot of materials are coming down the way. But as you move forward, uh, you get a lot more materials. And there's a nice balance of having to kind of do this resource management where you have to make sure that you stay fed, make sure that you stay hydrated, make sure that you have the materials you need to continue building. And you can also plant things like trees. Now, I've got some palm trees going here. Hello, beauties. Hello. Oh, wait, will you make coconuts? That's not something I considered. I was thinking you were just for aesthetic value. But... You know, you can build walls. And that, this is pretty much all that you can do in this game at this point. Uh, so the game is really not, it's not that complex. Um, I like the fact that it's this simple. I don't know what the developer has in store for it going down the line. But as far as what I like about it right now, I want to just kind of start from the ground up. Now, one of the things I do like, I like the core concept of being like stranded on this raft and having to collect things around you. So that alone, I really enjoy. And I enjoy the way that you do it. I enjoy that you have the option of just hitting E if something comes close enough. Oh, thank you for punctuating my point by appearing right there. I like that you also have the option if you have the resources to build a net, which as you can see, I've, done, I've built an army of nets here. Uh, but you can also collect items using a net so that you don't have to constantly be uh, chasing down materials all the time. Um, so you can kind of do this. I also like the fact that you can physically get into the water and chase something down, which I had to do a couple of times in the beginning, especially for some things like scrap that didn't come along too much. Uh, I had to actually jump in bloop, and do that. But as you can see, if you jump in the water, Mr. Sharky Poo decides he wants to uh, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Oh, shit. All right. Mr. Shark. Yeah, go fuck off. Fuck off into the horizon. Um, he decides he wants to come after you, and he can kill you. So you do have a health meter down there, a little heart in the lower right corner. Uh, but at least it is an option. And as you can see as well, that you have a fatigue meter here. So I assume that if the fatigue meter runs out, I will drown. I haven't had that happen yet. I, I kind of don't want to know. Boop, drink my water. So that's the first thing I like. I like the gathering mechanic. Um, oh, also, I missed one thing. You also have a hook. Now with the hook, you can gather things that may have gotten a little bit out of the way. And if you time it well, bloop, you can reel it in. Uh, you do have to actually reel it in yourself. It doesn't do it automatically. So you can throw it out and it'll stay. And you can wait for something to come along across the path and then boosh. And you just reel it in there um, again by holding down the left mouse uh, button. Okay, so this is another option. And that's actually the first and only thing that you start the game with is this hook. So you'll be using that a lot because I have. Hello. 
Oh, I thought, oh, I see you, you motherfucker. Get out of here. Get out of here. You bitch. All right. So that's number two. The thing that I like about this is that you do have threats out here. It's not that this is just an isolated game where there really isn't anything that's a timed issue. So you're just sitting there building and collecting. I think it would get really boring if that was all you had. Uh, so I do like that it adds this element of uh, fear. Okay, I'm going to give you some water. Relax. Relax, sweetie. You're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's coming up roses. All right. Um, but I do like that. Where, where are you eating? Oh, this one. And you can, can, you can repair whatever it's eaten as well. Though I haven't seen if I can repair the net. But let me, let me get back to that. I'll get back to that. Uh, so I do like that the shark is an element. I've so far only seen one shark at a time. But you can eventually kill the shark if you keep poking at it with your poke poke. Uh, it will die. And then you get lots of meats. You get all the many, many meats. Like I've got here. Mmm. Look at this prime shark meat. Delicioso. Meow. I'm going to eat that. Okay. So that's the second thing that I like. Now, I again, I don't know what the developer has planned down the road. I don't know if they're going to make it so that sharks start to double up. Or if they feel that one shark is sufficient. Either way, if you don't pay attention to it, when it comes, it will start to eat away at your raft. It will destroy anything that is on that particular plank. So you do want to be aware of it. And I do like that you know when he's attacking you regardless of where you're looking because of the sound. I think the sound design uh, was really, really good in this game. It, they did a really good job of keeping it simple and making it feel isolated by only having the sound of the water and then the other effects really just being when you need something. Either you're hungry so your stomach growls or you're dehydrated so you start making that weird wincing noise. I don't know what that is. Um, or that the shark starts attacking you, you can kind of hear it splash out of the water. Now, with these nets, I do like that these nets catch things. There are a couple of things I don't know about the nets, though. I don't know if the nets can um, become full. Or what? Do, what? Huh. Whoa. Why did I drop that on the... F okay. I don't know. I don't know if the nets can become full. Um, shit, I've got so much of everything for no reason. I don't know if the nets can become full. And I don't know, I'm going to eat that. Bloop. And I don't know if the nets can be damaged. Now, what I will say is that I, I have seen the shark come over and like a little bitch, he just ate my nets. Now, I don't know if I didn't see a repair function on the nets because you can't repair them. Uh, because it is kind of a one-shot deal. If he attacks it and you don't get to him in time, he's just going to eat it and that's it. If that's the case, I like that. I really do like that, um, that he can just, you know, bite your net and that's it. And then it's gone and you can't repair it or anything. Because once you start building up a lot of nets, it can become a little bit easy uh, to gather your resources. And I think that anything that can take the level of difficulty for a game from like normal to childlike should have some element of being able to just be instantly destroyed just to keep things interesting. So I do like the fact that if the shark bites it, he gets a little nibble and it's gone. Um, but like I said, I, I can't tell if these actually can get full. Um, I know that my inventory can get full and apparently I shit out barrels of whatever it was when that happens. <laughs> um, but beyond that, let me talk about the next thing that I love. Yeah, 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 I get it. You're dehydrated. Oh, I hear you. All right, so let's see what, what happens here. I will sacrifice. You bitch! Get out of here. It's my net. It's not your net. You don't have a net. You're a damn shark. All right. So, yeah, so the next thing that I really like about it is the controls. Um, I like the fact that, again, it's very simplified. You know, WASD with a little bit of E action in there. Um, you know, that's what you want to see. That's what you want to see. You don't want to see a lot of convoluted things. You also don't want to see that this is, and I'm saying you don't want to see, but what I really mean is I don't want to see, <laughs> but what I don't like in games is when you have to hold a button down or, um, a key down rather 
for something where it could just as easily be done by tapping. Um, I don't like that. Now, the hook, you know, it makes sense that when you send it out, you have to hold this down to reel it back in. But if I had to hold down E to gather things or hold the button down um, to, you know, do anything else, it would become really tedious. So I like that they, they understand controls really well, that they didn't do anything that's kind of unnecessary with this. Boop. More water for me. Um, I like the animation. Again, everything is very simplified, but it's stylized. It's not simple in the sense that, like, oh, it was cheap and they really couldn't afford to make better graphics. Like, I think that this has a definite style to it, and I'm perfectly fine with the style, and I like the way this looks. Um, so I do like that. I like the mechanics. I like the speed of my movement. I think the camera controls really well. I'm happy with all of this. I'm happy with the environment. I'm happy being able to look up and see the stars in the sky. Uh, I'm happy with this tiny inventory at the bottom of the screen. And for the most part, I'm okay with the automatic assignment of slots. And especially because, again, I don't know what the developer intends for this game, you motherfucker. Stop it. Stop it. Ugh, I don't know what they intend. So if this is like all they intend the game to be, then it's fine. It's perfectly fine how it is. Now, the other thing I like about this game. Yum, 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 yum. So good. So delicious and fresh. Let's go up here. I think I have a tater. Can I plant that? Yeah. Grow, tater, grow to be majestically straw shit. Get, get out of the water. Okay. So the other thing I like about the game, again, is that the simplified crafting system here, uh, it's all pretty straightforward. You know, you just click through and you hit craft, crafty, craft, craft, craft. Um, I like that. You know, I like that there aren't a million items. Uh, again, for the 15 millionth time, I don't know if that's what, you know, if that's going to be in line with what the, with what the, um, developer is going to intend you know for the future of the game i don't know if they do plan on adding a bunch of things to it but the one thing i would like to see is a bed i would love to be able to craft just a cute little bed right here i feel like that's the one thing that's missing in any survival situation i feel like i need to be able to have some kind of makeshift bed um so that's the one thing that i'm i kind of miss you know and it, and it could be like you know a, a bed that like typical Survivor games would be made out of like thatch, you know, or something like that. Beyond that, like this game, you know, again, it, it's really simple. You've pretty much seen everything that it has to offer, yet it is very addictive. It is highly addictive. Um, and it's nice, even if I have gotten this far where I kind of just have everything and now I'm just walking around talking about it, I still feel like I'm excited to see what's in store for it. And that, you know, I'm, I'm excited to keep kind of walking around uh, and building. I don't know if there's a limit uh, as far as how, like, the radius that you can build out. I don't know if it's a per square, like, radius uh, limit or anything. Like, oh, you can only build 30 squares in either direction. I don't know about that yet. Uh, but I'm excited to continue building in spite of this really being all there is to it. And I think that's all this game needs to it. It's really well made. It does what it's supposed to do well. I haven't come across any issues uh, in this game. And I do like that if I fall down here, for example, I can manage to get my way out. Because that's something that plagues a lot of games, especially a lot of indie games, is broken mechanics where you can kind of fall through a floor or you can fall through the map or you can... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Or you can get stuck in things that really maybe you shouldn't have been able to get stuck in. And I like that I haven't encountered anything like that with this game. Like, I love that. So, yeah. So, that's, that's pretty much where I'm at with this game right now. I'm going to continue building. Uh, I do hope, though, especially with how popular this game is with big, like, YouTubers and stuff, that... These developers don't make a mistake that I've seen some other indie developers make where they start off with a really clean concept 
and a really clean mechanics. But then once, you know, big people start playing it and they start getting some notoriety, they start adding a bunch of unnecessary shit that basically starts to fuck up the game. And I don't want to see that happen here. I want them to kind of stay on task and stick to their vision and, you know, take feedback into account, take the way that people are enjoying it into account, but, but don't go overboard. Don't try to make it more than it needs to be just uh, because it's in front of people's eyes. One of the other things I would love to see here is a day-night cycle. I would love to see what this looks like at night. And I think that would be another way just to add something a little bit dynamic to a game that's otherwise very, very simple, uh, just to have there be nighttime. Um, it might even be nice to have something happen like a a timed event that people can look forward to, but that's randomly generated, where maybe you see um, at night, like during the night cycle, you see something in the distance. Uh, eat. What happens if I eat the raw ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ate you all because I don't care. I'm a beast. All right. Um, you know, like if you see maybe a ship in the distance, you see its lights, you know, and it just kind of drifts off into the mist or, you know, I, I can just think of a lot of interesting things that could happen. So something like that, like I kind of feel, but again, randomly generated, not something that happens all the time so that it feels like gimmicky or repetitive. Just there are a lot of things that I, I think this can do and a lot of places I think it can go. Did you not learn your lesson? Yeah, that's what happens when you don't learn. You die and people eat your meat. Meh, meh. Okay. Up. I'm going to cook you for victory. Bloop. This looks like a boomerang. A shark meat boomerang. A shark orang. A boomer meat. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is Raft, and I enjoy it. Again, kudos to the developers. I'm glad that this game is getting a lot of attention because it deserves it, and I look forward to more.